Hi, and welcome to another Nifty Tools video tutorial. In this one, you'll see how to make an animated GIF using a background image of your choosing. Background images are great because they add a little bit more pizzazz to your promo activities. We'll quickly rush through setting up the Nifty Promo Control Panel. So I've set up a pool using Mother's Day and because I don't have a store ID or collection ID the pool will come from the marketplace. At the bottom there is the usual grid. Now I've set up a pool of 20 as what I'm going to do will need 18. So the next step is step two, choose your type of promoting and then share print a product grid page. So I choose animated GIFs and the one that I'm going to choose is the one with 18 products. Having done that, click the button and in a moment or two, that's the image is loaded now. The template has been loaded and if we scroll up, there we can see the template. Now this, like many of the other animated GIF templates, have got instructions. Just to declutter things, I'll get rid of them. As well as the product images, there are also these message frames. And they're just ordinary graphics that you make. And they allow you to speak to your visitor. I'll leave them in. OK, so we've got our products loaded via the template. First thing to do is to, let, is to get our background image in place. Now, I've prepared one and I've uploaded it to imgbb.com and I'll just copy it and that's copied the link background to the product stager in the add your own images section I paste in that link now it's 1200 pixels wide and that's how big I want it to be on the stage so I'm adding it now as a normal image. Scroll up and there it is. Now it's on top of everything else. So I'm just going to send it to the back to make it easy to see what's going on. OK, next thing to do is to toggle the editing panes on. And it's the Edit GIF Animation Settings pane that I'm interested in. Just bring that up a little bit. OK, so I've got the um, animated uh, product width set to 695 pixels. That's what we'll go with. And I've now got to tell it the background image to use. Well, it's the one I've currently got selected. So I just click this button. That's telling us that that's now been set. And we can see here 1200 by 800 is the size next thing to do is to choose the position of the product images that are going to be animated. Now I'm going to just choose this one. I'm choosing this one because it's the last one that's been loaded and therefore is the topmost. And that just makes it a bit easier. I'm now going to drag it roughly into position about there and then click this button to tell it to use that one as the position and it quickly shows you it at the size set here, the 695 pixels and that's like a preview and I saw that that was not quite where I wanted it so I've dragged it to its new position click the button to tell it to use that new position I'm just eyeballing it and it needs to go to the left a little bit let's try that And I think a little bit more to the left, and that's it. 
I won't be too pernickety as this is just a demo. And that looks about right. OK, everything's now set and ready. Click the Make Animated Products GIF button. And we can see the progress bar chunking along. Does it a couple of times as it does its preparation work. And on Firefox, you get this confirmation dialog. But on Chrome, it just downloads it without you needing to do anything else. So I'll just say OK to that. So now in my Downloads folder, here is my latest animation. So I'll just go around to the very first one that you saw. And that's, that one was set to the fastest speed. And I'll just drag in the one that we've just made. And this one was at a slower speed. Let's just double check. Yes, it's set to the three and a half second delay between images. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye now.